For Ashley and her dog Darla, it was a normal Saturday night in. But what unfolded in August last year saw this innocent council worker's life come to a brutal end. Gunned down in her own home, Ashley was not the intended target. Instead, it was her boyfriend, described in court as a drug dealer, a criminal, in a feud with a rival gang. But with him nowhere in sight, it was this ambitious young woman who had to bear the brunt of her partner's dispute. She was happy, she loved life. Um, yeah, we, we practically grew up together because I had her at such a young age and she's just been a huge part, obviously, of my life. She was fabulous, she really was. Just, just miss her. On the 20th of August last year, armed with a Scorpion machine gun, these two men were dispatched from a flat in Liverpool, tasked to find and to kill Lee Harrison. They were told not to leave any witnesses. In a grey Hyundai, James Witham and Joseph Piers drove to Ashley's home. At around 11.40pm, they damaged the tyres to her car in hope someone would emerge, but they didn't. After the tyres to Ashley's car were slashed, she messaged her boyfriend to say the car alarm was going off. He replied, saying, you think you're in a horror movie. Are you OK? Alive? Just after midnight, she responded jokingly, no, I'm dead. It was less than half an hour later, James Witham kicked down her front door and sprayed eight bullets towards her. It took just one to the stomach to kill Ashley. Does anyone here make yourself known? In the early hours of Sunday morning, police were called to the home. Their body cam footage shows where Ashley ran for her life into the dining room in a desperate attempt to reach the back door. Bullet markings were left embedded in the walls and floors. It was in the backyard where she collapsed. But her killer didn't stop there. James Witham walked upstairs into a bedroom and fired five shots into a wall. The trial heard it was to send a firm message to Lee Harrison. Despite him being the principal target and losing his girlfriend, Harrison did not assist with any of the police's investigation. I've spoke to him, not, you know, 10 days after it's happened, I've sat him in his presence and asked him, go to the police, you know why this has happened, and he just says I don't, and for that I'll never forgive him. James, come Right, OK, you're under arrest for a suspicion of murder. Witham admitted he was the gunman that night, but claimed he didn't see or hear Ashley. An important element that led to the conviction of these men was Ashley's helpful yet harrowing voice notes she sent to friends about events leading up to her death, a woman clearly anxious about what these ruthless gangsters were capable of. There'd been threats um, to come round to Ashley's house. You can hear in her voice, this is serious now for Ashley, um, and she is under um, immense fear, stress. She feels that she's got to keep looking over her shoulder, scared to leave the house. I have never heard a victim telling me their own story. It's, it was really chilling. For the best part of two months, Ashley's family sat in court throughout the trial, reliving their pain. It's murder in the highest level of it. And if you're not safe in your own house, where, where are you safe? Perhaps a question they'll always ask and never truly understand. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News, Liverpool.